Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on redundant publication. So publication of a paper that substantially overlaps with an already published article is called redundant publication. So let's try to understand. We have a original article here. And let's say that original article have uh, like seven component like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when we say redundant publication, so here as you can see, all the component are there and part of the component or oh, here we have five component out of the seven component is being you know taken into that publication so when we say original article here in this case this is let's say is already already published and now we are talking about redundant publication so now when the next publication let's say this publication will publish so it will overlap with the already published article so that to be avoided and similarly if we go to this category category b here is duplicate publication where it is simply if you see all the component all the seven component is being taken here or being simply copy paste or kind of cloning has been done so all the seven component are here intact so this is kind of a duplicate publication Whereas when if we look into category A, which is of plagiarism, when here as you can see one, two, three component, this, this, and this has been copied or let's say been taken or or you know not proper citation has been given though it is being taken or the original source is not being cited. Moreover, there is few alteration also you can see, but when we say plagiarism, then the author has not given the proper credit or, or let's say have not cited the actual source which to be cited or the original manuscript which to be cited so that they have not done it so that falls under plagiarism so again another category category d when we say is salami slicing so basically when we are talking about slicing it is being sliced to now seven component and why this slicing has been done so that seven seven different different article article can be published so that is to increase the publication count so people do salami slicing so when uh, so these are a kind of a different kind or types of uh, uh, research misconduct also you can say or you can say unethical you know behavior which uh, which is there in the uh, publication field or research and publication uh, field and that to be avoided so this redundant publication already we uh, have kind of defined and now when when we talk about all this type of redundant publication when either duplicate publication salami slicing plagiarism so this is this if somebody commit that that means they are wasting time of the peer reviewer because uh, already published article uh, people uh, you know you know part of it or segment of it you are twisting and publishing so in in a uh, later on somehow that might be uh, retracted but uh, in the process of this uh, reviewing um, reviewer as well as editor will uh, will engage themselves for those article and they will waste the time so resources and journal pages also and it, it will lead to flawed meta-analysis as well because because ultimately uh, those article which is already there and you are just overlapping on those articles so that that is not going to add any you know scientific credit or valuation to the uh, scientific community and moreover it distorts academic uh, reward system and a violation of copyright also as you can see here then uh, moreover as you have discussed there is no benefit if somebody is doing uh, in in such way so that is there is no benefit uh, to the author because at the end they will get the reward um, you know that means like punishment um, when it uh, comes into the uh, real picture or somebody file a complaint so uh, necessary action will be taken and ultimately that paper might get uh, retracted 
so that to be avoided so here we'll, we'll try to understand three uh, cases like uh, two paper of the same author here as you can see overlapping is very minimal and here what they have what they are saying is only you know overlap in the idea and there is no overlap in the data so idea overlapping is there but uh, data overlapping is not there so it is kind of okay but still the author has to give proper credit or a kind of uh, you know uh, citation uh, so that that to be avoided some uh, some kind of you know a misconduct to be avoided and the second category as you can see there is much of overlapping about 70 75 or let's say 60 to 70 percent where both idea and and this data both are overlapped here so here they have to choose any one case so they have to avoid uh, the another case so th th this is where uh, the overlapping of is coming and the third category is completely you know a kind of 100% uh, overlap so in this case it has to be avoided because it is kind of violating the copyright general copyright as well and now uh, that will be a uh, kind of a problem one if it get published so kind of a duplicate publication will count it so what is duplicate publication and what is simultaneous publication when we say duplicate publication or redundant publication it is the publication of paper that substantially similar to the published article or the article which is already published by the same author without acknowledging the source and without obtaining permission from the original copyright holder so this is what uh, the duplicate pub publication what is simultaneous publication and what is uh, multiple publication let's try to understand so when we say a simultaneous publication that refer to the practice of submitting the same manuscript to or more journal at the same time so here basically the same article i am trying to submit to more than one journal so that that is again unethical practice or that to be avoided we will discuss in uh, later uh, phase uh, or in um, um, in my next video that uh, uh, with case studies how you know um, people they get uh, uh, kind of uh, you know get trapped or they get uh, notification in uh, while submitting the same manuscript to different places and even uh, it it might happen that this uh, same reviewer might get that uh, you know article to be reviewed uh, and the same article to be reviewed so that reviewer might you know obviously will make a complaint to the to both the publisher or to the journal that the author has submitted at two different venue and uh, he has received review request for the same article so that will now uh, you know make a kind of uh, as you can see uh, a bad or, or or a career you know destroying or damage uh, situation for the author so that is there and then duplicate publication this already we have discussed involved the submission of uh, previously you know previously published manuscript to another journal whereas multiple publication and what is the difference between simultaneous publication when we talk about multiple publication are are you know when you have more than one submission pending with a publication so that can happen only when you send more than one uh, submission at a time or if you send a publication and later you send another submission before receiving a response from the first submission so in that case multiple submission might happen so that also to be avoided uh, and uh, what is submission that you all know whereas there are few uh, exception also you know or obtain permission from the copyright holder you can do that like uh, permission request form are now available for reusing the images or, or let's say some definition or some uh, you know equation you can you if you have obtained the copyright from the or permission from the copyright holder then it is fine you can quote and you can uh, cite it and then it is okay and get approval from the editor of the journal in which the paper was first published and the editor of the journal in which it it will be uh, republished so that that approval you need to obtain at both the parties 
then acknowledgement a kind of thing that uh, the paper has already you know uh, ha has been republished in the whole or in uh, kind of based on a previously published paper and provide the full citation of the primary publication so this uh, i can uh, relate to with uh, many of the phd scholar when they do go for uh, your final uh, report uh, writing in that case you, the self uh, plagiarism will be discussing that also how to be avoided here that you can do it you need to get approval from both the you know uh, parties or from both end like uh, to the wherever you have published that thing and the same thing you have to give acknowledgement to the university where you are going to submit your report so if you have obtained the approval then you can you know quote it or you can write it and moreover you have to give uh, citation to the primary publication wherever you have published so in that way you can avoid self plagiarism but again uh, there are many things to that which we will be discussing in the coming video so do's and don'ts of the author when we are talking about basically this duplicate submission or or redundant publication so do not replicate content from any of uh, you know other published paper and do not offer a kind of um, preliminary report about unpublished paper to media companies or any other agency without obtaining any approval or permission from the journal so that to be avoided when uh, you are quoting material from your previous published work include more than few sentences from the earlier work and also place the text in quotation mark and cite the source so that to be done but uh, you know whole content you can keep or not or partial content so that you have to discuss uh, that you have to take approval from the uh, concerned uh, journal or uh, publisher then you can go ahead for your report of thesis writing or you know final uh, report writing so when you are using single database to to write more than one manuscript ensure that duplicate publication and simultaneous publication uh, you know uh, should not happen so each manuscript addresses separate and important question and how how will be addressing that with all this three point kind of you can add on to that also and the manuscript are cross refer uh, re reference then you inform uh, the journal editor about the matter in a cover letter also in that way the duplicate and simultaneous submission you can avoid moreover if you have published related paper um, provide detailed uh, information about uh, that to the journal editor in uh, in the time of submission include copies of this paper with the you know uh, submitted manuscript um, this will ensure full uh, kind of transparency and will help the editor to make right decision whether to go ahead for for further review or uh, they will seek uh, some kind of uh, further explanation uh, on your you know submitted article so that that transparency has to be there so the author prompt uh, you know action might you know save that author uh, to get uh, you know uh, to get a, f a future problem kind of when when they they uh, unknowingly or let's say unintentionally do duplicate publication or salami slicing or let's say uh, redundant publication so if this kind of awareness is there then uh, they can avoid uh, such problem so hope for uh, you people like uh, this video so do like share and comment and please subscribe if you have not done it so thank you for watching thank you